Hi everyone and uh, welcome back to the Floss Marketing School. In this video we are going to talk about open data and how you can take advantage of it if you are not a developer. So uh, what is open data? Open data, so to say, is nothing more than a buzzword. Okay, It's just about saying, okay, there are some data that we have as an organization and we are going to release them in order for you uh, to play with those. So um, actually it as well refer uh, mostly to the public sectors such as uh, governments, such as administrations, which are releasing those data in order for developers or let's say third party people uh, to create uh, apps uh, with, uh, with those data. So apps refer to uh, any program that you can create in order to apply um, anything to them in order to, to create, uh, let's say, yeah, just program that people uh, can use. I'm saying that it's just a buzzword because, of course, uh, some organizations were already releasing those uh, data uh, since a lot of time uh, through what we call API, which are nothing more than the possibility for developers uh, to play with the data of the organization in order to create a great program. But uh, so to say, yes, the word open data was just like to say, okay, massive uh, administration, public sector releasing data in order to, to make fun uh, with those data. So in this video, I'm just going to explain you uh, how you can take advantage of it. And I will use for this uh, platform, which is called App Inventor 2, which allows you to create a mobile app uh, easily without knowing how to code. Um, so the data we use are the ones which are coming from uh, this given region, um, so Pays de la Loire in France. And in fact, I'm playing here with the data about restaurants. So for example, for this given region, they decided uh, to release uh, publicly data about the restaurants. And if I just open the file, which is over here, so for example, here I'm going to play with a file uh, which is written in a format, which is the CSV. So it means that the data are separated uh, by commas. Um, uh, here's uh, how the file look like when I'm downloading it. As you can see, I get the name of the restaurant, I get the type of the restaurant, I get the categories of restaurant, I get its physical address, and uh, so on and so forth. So here I get all the data that I can play with in order to create an app. Um, I don't need all those data because I just would like to create a simple app. So what I did is I took this file, I just removed all the columns that I have no interest in, in order to create a more simpler file. And as you can see, I'm just going to grab the name of the restaurant, the latitude and the longitude in order to create an app uh, for which when I will click on uh, one restaurant, I will know where it's, uh, it's located. So what I did is I created a file over here, which is clean, just composed of the three columns. I saved it as a dot .csv file and I'm going to play with those data. So in order to play with those data, I went on App Inventor 2 and I decided to insert the following component that you can see over here, a label in order to, uh, to debug, a list picker in order to display the list of the restaurant, a map component in order to put on the map the different uh, restaurant, a marker in order to have uh, the location of the restaurant represented, and I added as well a component, which is uh, here a file. So this is the one that you can find in storage, which is nothing more than my database, so to say the CSV file. So when I uploaded this given component, the one which is named file one, um, what I did as well is I uploaded a file, which is nothing more than my CSV file. And once uh, I did all of this, I have now all my components in order to create my apps. Then uh, what I did is I went here on blocks, and I did it as follows. So when the app starts, what I want is I want to uh, say to my app to go and fetch within my um, app, so within my device, this given a uh, CSV file which has been uploaded. Okay, so this is what's, what's happening. Then um, I'm asking it that the list that you can see here uh, down below, when I, uh, before that I click on it, I want uh, the, I want the field to be filled with elements which are nothing more than a variable which is called a global list. So by default, this global list is empty, is what you can see here. Um, but when the screen initialize, in fact, um, it's getting the CSV file. And when it gets the CSV file, it's creating a list out of this CSV file. So as a result, all my data 
are organized uh, line by line. Uh, so this is what it means here. So before clicking on the button, it's already filled in with this given file, but split it by rows. And then once I pick up the restaurant that I want, what's going to happen is that it's going to pick up um, the restaurant according to the one that I clicked on. So this is what's going to happen and out of the list, which is provided to me when I click on one, it's going to select the index. And then uh, for this given line, which is selected, it's going to display the result within the debug field. So which is important for me. Uh, to know what's going right and what's going wrong. And it's going to set as well uh, the latitude and longitude according to the second field of my file. So the second field means this one and the third field means uh, this one. So here I have now a map in terms of code which is going to display on the map where the, where the restaurant is located when I'm going to click on it. So uh, let's see now this app in, in practice. So here's how I did it. Uh, first of all, I did not jump on my computer straight away. I worked on paper when I just say, okay, what do I need? I need a CSV file with three columns. Then I will have a first screen which show a button which is choose a restaurant. Then I will get a list. And when I will click on the uh, given restaurant selected, I will get the result on the map. Just to let you know that in terms of uh, engineering, you never jump at uh, straight on uh, on your let's say um, on your computer you first look at um, you first draft on paper what you would like to get and here is the final results so as you can see i have my my app which is here i can click on the button here in order to choose a restaurant i get the list of all my restaurant and uh, if i pick up one of those so let's take this one at remy I will see that it's going to locate it here on the map and I can still continue like taking this one and as you can see the location is all the time different because it's just picking out the different latitude and longitude of uh, the of the restaurant and that's everything that I wanted to show you so it's it's really simple as you can see there's not that much code all you need is just to select within the open data a website that you selected the kind of file that you are interested in and then you are playing it with a database which in my case here is nothing more than a csv file in order to create an app which looks like uh, the thing that you would like to get and that's it for today i really hope that you enjoyed this video and it helps you understand a little bit more about open data and how you can take advantage of it without being a developer thanks for watching